Hello everyone, welcome to sub 2000 video tutorial. In this video, we will see how to define a still frame section. So, to define a still frame section, we will go to define as well. From define, we will go to section properties and then frame sections. From frame properties, we will select add new property, add frame section property. From this window, we will select frame section property type still and then we have some still section default. As you can see, in the first position, we have I or wide flames then channel t angle double angle double channel pi tube rectangular circular and the last is still just so for still design most of the time we use i or wide flames as trusses or beam and as column we use tube so mainly we use these two sections so in this video we will see how to define these two sections so first of all i will select i or wide flames so here is the I white flame section. So from here we can name the section. So I will write here truss and the dimensions may be given from the designer or it can be gained from anywhere. So we will input here the dimensions, the outside height. This is T3, the height from inner side, the height of the width. This is outside height and the top flames width. This is top flames width. Then top lens thickness, top lens the thickness of this lens, and then wave thickness the thickness of this wave, then bottom lens width the width of this lens. After that bottom lens thickness the thickness of this lens. So we may have to input these dimensions of this I or white lens section, and we can also select the materials which is we may have defined earlier. We may select river or the default stills. In this way, we can select the I or white flame section. Now, we are going to have a look on the tube channel. So, we'll go to add new property. And this time, we will look at the tube. So, tube section, I will click on that. So, here is the tube section or box section. So, we can rename it as column. Then, we have the dimension. So, outside depth it is the depth of the outside in t3 direction this one so we can input here then outside width the width of this box then flange thickness flange thickness tf the thickness of the flange and the thickness of the wave thickness here so here as you can see it is the same thickness in both direction in the wave direction and in the flange direction so we can change these dimensions as we have the data in this way we can define still frame sections so thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you a lot i'll see you in the next video